Hello everybody and welcome to the next installment of the Enter the Dungeon Out of the Abyss campaign. Last time we saw our heroes, their backs were up against the wall of their cells as they were trying to fight off their drow captors. Jake had fallen and so now it's up to the monk and the barbarian to avenge their bardic friend and help him from dying. Let's see if they can get their second chance at survival here. This down's in. Going full in, if I'm going to die, might as well punch this guy. Okay. I'm going to so, die, I'll well punch this If guy. you do this right, you get four attack rolls total this turn. Hmm. So that's going to be four d6s hmm. if they all hit. Hmm. So go ahead and just uh, roll four d20s, and we'll see if those are successes. Okay. I did have an alternate plan, but I'll do this as well. And give them to me in order. Uh, a five. A six. A 19. And a 19. Okay, so your primary attacks, those are both going to miss, but your bonus actions do hit. So just go ahead and roll another straight 2d6. Seven. Yeah, with a seven. So you're just punching this guy all over. You miss twice, and then you just uh, punch him once uh, at the same time with an uppercut. Really hurts him, but he's not down yet. Really, really hurts, does it? Really? Yeah, I wouldn't have thought an uppercut would hurt anyone. Wow. Okay, now the axe man's going to try to swing his sword at you. Me? Yeah, the one that just tried to beat him up. Oh, is me? <laughs> He's just so obsessed with Oh, you got four hit for... Uh, luckily, he misses once. The other time, he does get into you for nine damage. You down? Yep, yep, yep. Okay. Now, Farron, the two guards with uh, crossbows are going to try to shoot them at you. Right. They both miss. And the other two, and then the two with spears, they open up the door and they're going to start moving into the cell. Oh, yeah, of course they have keys on them. Damn it. Yep. Okay. Why do I think locking the door is a good idea? <laughs> uh, let's see now. One guard has been terrified. The other one is currently being pinned by a dwarf. So now this is going to bring us back to Farron's turn. Um. That won't work, and that won't work. Because none of us have anything on us. Hooray! Um, yeah, I'll just... I'll just I'll get, okay, I there is the go. extreme option. You disengage, run out of the cell, and just don't stop running. Well, and leave everyone to die. That's the extreme option. I'm not taking the extreme option. That's dishonorable. Okay. And Fran Monroe is not dishonorable. Okay. Right, well, you gonna try to kill the axe man? Yeah. Go for it. Uh, that's 23. That hits. Uh, uh, that's th uh, four. Okay. He, this guy seems to be on his last legs. Well, I'm you gonna kill, go again. Him with the next attack. Um, uh, 13. A 13 is a miss. And then he says, You fought well. I hope you make it to Valhalla. <laughs> okay. What's your armor class again? 15. Uh, 
really sorry to say this, but he hit both times, and I'm not exaggerating here. Oh, <laughs> he got yeah. 10s for both of his um, great axe attacks. So this guy just uh, swings into you, cutting a very severely. Like, he gets, like, a solid chunk of flesh off your shoulder as he grazes into your neck and knocks you over. I presume that brings you to zero? Uh, no, I'm on 12. Oh, you're... you're... You still have 12 health left? Yeah, I had 46 hit points to start this thing. Well, remember, you didn't fully heal after the last adventure. Oh, really? I was not aware of that. Yeah, it was all part of the same day. Oh. Um, I still think I was on, like, 40 or something when um, we, en we ended. Yeah, there, there wasn't a lot of combat last time, or at least not a lot of serious combat, so that's fine. No. Um... But now the other guards are gonna go. Ugh. Love to see it. Oh wait, I forgot. You resist that. You only took ten damage. Oh right. So, that so, wasn't um, oh, you're okay. still raging. so I'm I'm on twenty. <laughs> okay, the guards rush over, miss with their spears. And the dwarf man, he looks up at you, sees you taking all of this and all these attacks missing around you and says, were you the emissary? Um, I just look down at him and smile. I don't say anything. I just smile at this poor dwarf. The bad news is, is that the guys with the crossbows waiting outside the cell did make contact. I'm they ready. For a uh, 14 or halved for 7 damage. Right. So you took 7 damage total from that. Yep. And now these guards are surround, uh, surrounding you. What do you want to so do? His final stand. How many guards are there? Because there's like one. There's four outside who are now yeah. inside. Well, there's. Okay, so two of those guards stayed out with their crossbows, two ran in with their spears, and then there's the axe man. The other two guards that were in there before have pretty much been neutralized. Okay. Um, I mean, if I had all my stuff on me, this would be a massive help, but I don't. So all I have is a spear and my anger. <laughs> um, <laughs> that is it. Uh, but the question is, do I surrender? Um, so how many did you say there were? There was four, four have come in, and there's the axe one, that's five. Yeah, there's uh, two in the room, two outside the room, and then the axe man. So there's five threats you have to deal with. Five. Yep. Five people. Um, but really useful if I was an actual witch, then I could just use Igni or something, but no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, and uh, yeah there's no way there is literally nothing I could do to heal either of them because I don't have a healing potion I don't have any healing powers and I'm assuming they because they're both down they're not going to be able to heal each other so pretty much stuff there stool is pretty much Uh, Can't hear um, you. Yeah. It's, it's literally just me and the dwarf. Is there anyone... Oh, wait, what's the gnome doing? Uh, the other th two are basically... The drought prisoner and the d gnome are just kind of watching this go down. Oh, oh really helpful. Um, yeah, they're not going to get involved. They don't have a reason to. I'm not getting involved. What do you think, guys? Should I continue fighting or surrender and hope that they treat your wounds? <laughs> um, I mean, we yeah. dead. That's for your decision. <laughs> Fight till your last stands. I will continue fighting because that is what Farron would do. Okay, and make the attack roll. Right. I'm attacking the axeman again, seeing as he's yep. 
probably going to be the first one. Uh, 17. That hits. And don't yeah. even bother rolling damage. Your minimum amount would kill him at this point. So you just see these guards yes. you. You're like, you know what? I'm going down dying. So you take your spear, just stab it through his neck. It comes out the other end. And then you pull it back and he falls over. And at this point, I can make an upgrade and get the axe. <laughs> yes, and you do have one more attack since you get two attacks per round. Can I grab the axe and swap it? Yeah, yeah. The... Yeah, with right, that, okay, I can grab the axe. Right, um, and I guess I swing at the nearest guy, seeing as there's like okay. four of them. Make an attack um, roll. 19. Yeah, a 19 that hits, and this is going to be a d12. D12. Uh, yeah. That's six. Okay, six plus your strength. Oh, uh, nine then. Nice. So yeah, you just stab this guy, then pick up his weapon, swing it against the nearest guard. And they are not liking that. No, I bet they aren't. <laughs> Didn't not enjoy that at all. <laughs> And they missed again with their spears. These guys, the stormtroopers of the yeah, you know, they're world. actually trying to shake a little bit, and you think maybe that's why they missed. The good news I've is... I've got an idea for my next round, then. There's still the men with crossbows. Oh, should I be rolling death saves? Oh, yes. Oh, uh, well... Oh, yes, yes. Jake and Ilya, go ahead and roll your death saves. How many at this point would I have rolled? They are. Um, I think this is the first time that we're getting to your turn and you're down. So okay. you just need one. Nope. No. Failure. <laughs> what'd you get? Seven. Okay, that's one failure. And Jake, what'd you get? Uh, I got a six. So that's a failure on my end as well. So yeah, I'm so you both failed. failure at the moment. Yeah, Lou's just laying on the ground with the middle fingers up. Like. Yep. <laughs> and the, the good or bad news, depending on how you look at it, is that both the guys with crossbows hit Farron. I mean, sure. For 15 damage, but you resisted, so that's down to 7. How's he doing now? I'm on 8 hit points. Okay, your turn. Um... Right, I'm gonna I'm gonna risk something here. I'm gonna do, can I do an intimidation check Go to try it. and scare them all off? Um, right, twenty. That's not a natural twenty. Yeah, with a twenty, the guy that you were able to swing with the axe, he is not liking this, and he's gonna back up. Does he run away, or does he just back up in the room? He just backs up in the room. Right. But he, um, it, yeah. Okay. Um, okay, so now that's going to bring us to Jake. Roll another death save. Wait, don't I still have an attack? Nope, that was your action to try to scare them oh, out. Right, okay, yeah. Yeah, never mind. Three seconds to fail. Sorry. Okay, Ilya. Fun, fun, fun. I'm what? dead. What'd you Natural get? One. Yep. Ilya dies of her injuries. Okay. okay. Now, one remaining guard's going to try to stab at you. Okay, luckily makes contact for three damage, but you resist that. So it's only going to be one. Now the other two try to shoot at you. And both miss. Your turn. Okay. Um, there is little chance that I'm going to survive against four guys with seven hit points. Yeah. Um, Idiot is literally dead, like fully dead. Like there is oh, no yeah. chance. 
Yeah, Jake's only mostly dead, so you can still go through. Sp- so, yeah, but with Ilya, the only thing you can do is go through her pockets looking for loose change. <laughs> I'm out of respect for Ilya. I'm not going to loot the body. <laughs> okay. Um, what do you do? Can I pick up Jake in my arms and run out of the door at full pace? And I have like 50, 65 feet worth of speed. Okay, tell you what. Rolls plus strength. Just make a strength strength roll, which you okay. will have advantage of on since you're raging. Uh, that's a natural 20 plus the three, so that's 23. Okay. Did you say natural 20? Natural 20. Natural with 20. That, with that moxie, I'm going to say that um, only one Spearman is able to... Okay, I'm going to give the Spearman disadvantage on his opportunity attacks you run by. Disadvantage, disadvantage. He misses. So you right now have him in your arms, and you're charging towards the door. And I'm going to be able to say that with that, you're able to dart out of the room. And you see in front of you, you seem to be on some kind of ledge. Right in front of you, there is a massive hole. Then to your right and left, there seems... Here, let me describe this properly. Yes, right in front of you is a hole. Then across the hole, there is one bridge. And then to your right, there is a a more of a stone ledge. So hang on. Is there any way across this hole? Or is it just a hole in the floor that I cannot get across? It's a giant pit. It seems to be like uh, this is part of the cave system. So there's a wood bridge right in front of you. Or to your right, there's a stone ledge. Um... You can always dive in the pit. What? You can always dive in the pit. Um, that doesn't seem like... Well, okay, there's a ledge on the other side, which isn't also going to be helpful at all, because it's a, it's a ledge. Um, well, it's a wide enough ledge for you to walk across. It's like a natural oh. bridge. Oh, okay, yeah, I'll do that then. Okay. So, yeah, you just start darting across that. That's going to bring us to the guard's turn, who are going to try to fire upon you. They both hit. Once again for 14 damage, which gets half to seven. I I, I dead then. I'm I'm down. You fall to the ground, and as you and as they hit you, you feel yourself slipping and falling into the spider pit. And they watch oh. you as you land at the webs below, and the spiders begin to crawl over. They begin oh. to eat your bodies. But you were already dead before this happens. Oh, oh thank God, I didn't leave. die in that pit. <laughs> you all come to to someone yelling, "Wake up, maggots! It's feeding time!" I knew you it. Don't care. Knew knew it. It. Okay, knew it. With some light coming in from torches on the outside, you guys are all chained up. Jake, you notice Farron and Ilya and S- Stool. And Boofy Doe, then the gnome and the drow. Hmm. Yep. The guard begins. Um, the guards begin to walk in. What about do we remember? Yes, you all remember what happened. Uh, the guard begins to walk in, holding a tray with some bowls on it. And when he walks over to you guys, he says. Surprised the two of you fell for that. And he begins to put the food down and they walk out. You guys want to do anything before they walk out? I take uh, my... Uh, uh, no, not before they walk out. I will yeah, they're just, turns, I don't notice. I'll just look around for a second. Go. What the... Oh, can I swear? Didn't ask this. Um, keep it light. Uh, Tim swears sometimes, so it's not su- a super big deal. But what in Bella's name is going on here? And I'm, like, I'm taking the gag off, and I went. Tell you what, I had the most illuminating dream. Hey, we were warned of your silver tongue. You are not speaking here. I want to eat. I'm taking the gag off so I can eat. Is that okay? 
I go over and reach towards the bowl and kind of taking it. He bears his spear and points it at you. Eat silently. We don't want any trouble. Well, I I look at my neck to where um, I've been cut. Is the scar there? Just the scars you had before. You guys are now back in the same condition in health and everything as you were when you started. Ooh, still alive with four. You see, I called this, I'm pretty sure. Let me just check the... Uh... I mean, when I said that I wanted to do a Groundhog's Day themed adventure, yeah. there was only so many ways that could go. Unless you guys were going to fight giant groundhogs. Oh, no, that <laughs> Um, time traveling uh, groundhogs. Yeah, time traveling groundhogs. Um, right. Can I murmur to Farron to say, uh, kind of quietly, so the guard doesn't see, kind of bowl up as if I'm drinking from it, but I'm just using it to to, to hide my speech, which I'm quietly stage whispering, if you like. Um, you didn't just. die, did you? In your dream. And I whisper back to him, I I did. And in a bit of an embarrassing situation, because I didn't really imagine myself being eaten alive by giant spiders, but... Huh. Wait, you died from giant spiders? Oof, I'm happy with mine now. There if you guys want to talk telepathically. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. Is uh is the, the 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 thing come back over the tentacle? Stool. Yes. Oh, I grab hold of the yeah. little tentacle and be like, "Is this the first time I've grabbed a tentacle?" Yes. I, yes, I've tried communicating with you before, but you've always rejected it. You don't need to be scared of me. Trust me, and I'll say their name, which is uh, is it Sprout? Is it how it's pronounced? Uh, well, he is Ace. He's a Myconoid Sprout, but you remember his name was Stool. Stool? Oh, I did write that down. Uh, yeah, he's there. Uh, I say, don't worry, Stool, I trust you. Hmm. Got my hand on the tentacle as well, listening in. I put my hand on the tentacle, and I say, okay. I've put my hand on this tentacle before. Adds of high. I don't remember either of you. No. Um, quickly, tell us something which uh, nobody knows. Um, wh- why do you need to know this? So, I don't know, future-proofing. It's in one of the plays I wrote. Come on. You know you want to. Okay. And and I know how much you reach out towards us. I can persuade if you really want. My mother's name was Cap. Cap. Thank you, Stuart. Now, uh, 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 Ilya, perhaps, Mm -hmm. um, did you... I, look, it, it's shaken me a bit. I don't understand. And, and weirder stuff has happened, I assure you. But I just I had a dream that um, you were in this cell with uh, Stuel. And it seems too vivid to, to, to be a dream. So maybe there really was something in the stew after all. In the stew. I don't know. I I remember you two coming in, chatting, punching the that axe man, and then him putting a big old axe in my chest. So well, I don't remember him putting an axe in your chest. Yeah, you were dead by that point. Ah, oh, that yes, that would you explain. were. You smacked your head, if you remember. Oh. It was kind of embarrassing, but, you know. Yes. Um, 
my acting skills failed me. Uh, tell me what happened after I smacked my head. Did you not unlock yourselves? Because when I came to, you were still all in chains. We did in the end, but it took us a while. Hmm. I like to think that's me going unconscious. Well, I uh, 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 wasn't in vain, but it appears that even when you had the opportunity, you still didn't unlock yourselves. I, we didn't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was concerned that they'd see. Let's move on, all right? <sighs> so, how did we get out this time? So, we definitely... Well, the direct this is... approach didn't seem to work. Hmm. I, I reckon Maybe. the same way, but we don't go for the more attacky-attacky move, and we decide okay. to go for the more runny-runny move. Okay, and if you guys want to try to escape your chains now that we're in a new boot, that's what I think I'm going to call this, boots, as in, you know, we're rebooting each time. Oh, yeah. You can try one a skill check to escape the chains. And I'm going to say that if you ever get to a boot where you're able to successfully escape them early on, then we can just assume you do that each time. Since these okay. are the same events happening over and over again, if you guys want, it can almost be like a save state-like thing where you can go back to certain points. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, so if you guys want at any point, like let's say after you guys die this time, you could start with you guys just communicating with yeah. um through stool again and trying to agree on what happened. Yeah. Okay. Karen, the chains. Can you get them off? We need you out as soon as possible, and stealing those keys doesn't seem to provide the solution. Um I'll try. <laughs> So I'm assuming this is strength. Yep. Uh, that's 12. Yeah, 12 is a failure, unfortunately. The rock breaks again, and the guard, he says that, hey, what are you doing in there? Oh, we're trying to break up small pieces of rocks, so when we go to the yard, we can dig them out, pop the gag back on again. Hey, I saw that play. You're trying to escape one pocket full of rock at a time. A wink at Actually, the guard. Actually, we're a traveling band of rock bongo players. Oh, that's true. The geologist is what he means. I got oh, taught yeah. not to play the rocks. I'm just the assistant. I don't know all the fancy words. Pop the gag back on again. <laughs> okay. Um, do you want... Uh, does Ellie want to try to slip out of her chains again? Yes, I will use the blood and spit on my chains to try and yep. wiggle out. Is that six X again? Yeah, that's going to be plus dexterity. Nineteen. Ah, uh, not quite. It, it, this time feels a lot better, but not quite. Nineteen. Oh. Um... Slightly using my my intelligence here, I find a way that I can apply leverage pressure and sheer pressure against the the, the chains rather than brute strength. I'm not sure what that does, but um, um, sheer pressure and and try breaking myself out as well. Okay, so you don't quite have the tools for that, but if you want, you might be able to use that understanding to pretty much take the help action. If you want to try to convince like the dwarf to break out of his chains. That I certainly can do. I turn towards the uh, uh, um, the dwarf and kind of uh, say, it's Stuart, would you mind extending your um, tentacle towards the dwarf? He does, though, and um, the dwarf, he just sort of looks over him and suspiciously, but just, just like a, eh, I got nothing to lose look, and he joins the call. In Dwarven, I say to him, Dwarf, your name is Bupada. You are waiting for an emissary to come from your god. I if need you your god, help. Then what is his name? I am not from your god. I am saying you are waiting for an emissary from your god. I don't know their name, but I sense it within you. Hmm. Very well, then. What would you have me do? Thank you. I need you to break out of your chains. What? I know some things that are there to help you. And I explain. Okay, um... Okay, go ahead.
ahead and roll plus investigation. Plus investigation. Uh, seven plus six. Plus, uh, yeah. Seven. Okay. So the only thing we're gonna handle these kind of checks is that if you roll above a. Okay, so is it. Okay, so you're just taking the health action, so that means that he gets a straight advantage. But I think that if you roll maybe a 15, then he could have added your intelligence modifier to this as well. Oh, but it's not quite enough. If you really put my god's strength, then you could free me. Yeah, so I have no strength, at least not this turn. So it might make, se might make sense for one of you to try to figure out more about his god to try to use that against him later. Yeah, I was about to, uh, as ex-priest, once again, uh, yeah. say, um, I, uh, I will, because this is technically a lie, so if you want to for a section, it's fine. Say, I am a priest of Satan. Um, thought you said you were going for each again. You said you were going for each hand, by the way. Uh, Dissemble or Battlefield Medic? Um, yes, I was just, um, tripped up for a moment. Yeah, because, um... Either one's I fine, thought... I said the other. Yeah. Um, I'll say I'm a priest of Sambalor. Uh, faithful to faithful. Would you mind telling me a bit more about your god? Yeah, I mean... Yeah, this guy, he's just primed to want to talk a lot about his god anyway, so I want to make you roll for this. Yes, the mighty god Dinkar. He's a dwarven god of warriors. I will say, I guess your god and my god meet on the battlefield a lot then. After all, a medic is just as important as a soldier. Well, with uh, Dingar and Sandalor on our side, I'm sure we'll figure a way out of here eventually. Yeah, so this um, guy, he, he's definitely interested in, in the uh, three of you. So, who are the others? We've got a gnome and a dro. Uh, I kind of chuck the tentacle towards the... Uh, is the gnome... Who's closer? I, I envision, I don't know why, groom uh, a stool on the far left, then the dro, then Ilya, then Fire, and then myself, then the gnome, then dwarf. Please tell me if that's wrong. It probably is. The way I figure is that the drow is closest to the guards, uh, to the door, so that way passing drow can sort of like uh, look in at him and see the example that's being made. Then next to him is the gnome. Then, sort of like in the corner, is a stool. Yeah. We have Ilya, then Farron, then Jake. Yeah. Um, kind of chuck the, uh, the the tentacle a little bit towards the gnome, uh, and kind of gesticulate for for the gnome to join him. Yeah, he joins in. Hello. Friend, what is your name? Um. <laughs> Hey, name's Jim Jar. Jim Jar the gnome. Jim. Jim. Yep. Hey, 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 hey. I bet you five gold that I'm going to last in here longer than you. Of that, I have no doubt. Um, <laughs> Chance, Jim, are you very strong? Um, I consider myself strong of mind. Strong of mind. Right. Um... Are you sneaky? Are you... Yes, yes, quite sneaky. Quite sneaky. Useful to know, thank you. Uh, and I chuck the, uh, the tentacle um, towards the dro. I'm just fact-finding here, uh, Ilya and Farron, trying to uh, establish who everyone is. Kind well, of, which is better job than last night. I mean, in the dream. The drow. Yeah, the he looks at it and then doesn't do anything. <laughs> he continues being kind of awkward by himself. Yep. 
I will <laughs> poke a little more stone light. near me. Hmm? Is there a little stone near me? Uh, yeah, there's probably a couple of rocks and stuff. <laughs> I pick it up and I throw it towards him. Um, let me see what that is. Yeah, I mean, you're able to get his attention. Uh, what do the other two of you want to do while um, Jake takes a mushroom call? Uh, <laughs> I will continue talking to the gnome. And I will say, you said you were sneaky. Yep. Does that include uh, picking locks and other more shadowy things? And pockets, I interject. And pockets. Yes, yes, pretty good. That's pretty good at that stuff. But unfortunately, you... you don't have the right tools to uh, break out of these chains. The chains we'll worry about later, but the pickpocketing is a bit more important right now. What do you have in mind? What do you think... <laughs> pours himself a drink. I just have an idea. I'm going to need a drink for this one. Actually, that's not a bad idea. I'll be back with a drink. Oh, and now Tim has left the room. Tim has left the room. But yeah, you, you're able to um, get the guy with a rock. Like, he notices you. I kind of, I right, quietly kind of whisper towards him. Please, kindly, would you put your hand on the tentacle? It is urgent. He sighs and puts his hand down and then just sort of thinks to you, what do you want? Uh, I'll go, hello, hello, hello. Just that. <laughs> what is your name, dear sir? Name's Sereth. Sereth. Now, Sereth, um... We need to get out of here. Are you by chance particularly strong? Um, I mean, not unusually so. I'll take that. Um, uh, uh, Ilya, how strong are you? You are. Uh, uh, let's just say I am a lot better at literally everything else. Ah, right. Um, a Farron, perhaps could you go and help the Drow and see whether you can uh, aid him in getting his chains off? I, I go over. Well, it, assuming, am my chains off at this point? What did I miss? Okay, so you and the Drow are on almost opposite sides of the cell from each other. Right. So you could basically make it to almost like the halfway point and try to talk to him, but it would be it would be very obvious that you're trying to do things with him. Hmm. I suggest maybe it'd be a good idea if somebody closer did it so it's less yeah, conspicuous way, it's been five minutes, five minutes. Hmm. I with am I a very am I close to the drow of the three you are the closest but not by much yeah it's probably about like a um, 30 foot cell okay and you are probably in the spot that directly faces the door so uh, you're on the exact opposite side of the door and then he oh. is a bit closer to the door I will ask him do you have any fun abilities well wasn't bad at magic but there's none of that in here do you know why it's the way the cells are built. It eliminates all magic from within them. Once Just you're outside, you can go crazy, though. All right, you need to get me outside of this cell. And just me, I'll thunder wave, kick the people off uh, uh, and, and away. Um, is there anything we, I should know as soon as I get out of the cell? Um, no. Farron, did you get out of the cell last time? I did get out of the cell with your dead body. Yes, would you describe to me what it's like out there? Um, well, there's a sort of corridor, and then you get to a pit, which I fell into after they shot me, and uh, there's giant spiders in there, not very nice. And then to the right, I think there's a um, a ledge of some sort, which 
I tried to get to um, that you could cross over, but I didn't manage it, and that's all I know. It's very cavernous, and yeah. And that was all a dream. I said to the tent. Yes, it was a dream. Uh, uh, the rest of you, right? So um, we need to bust out of this cell. Is there any chance that maybe um, I? One of us could distract the guard. They could come in, and then we could all run. But no, we need to break out of our chains first. One no, thing's for sure: we can't afford to do the whole playing dead thing because then they tried to actually kill you. And then I also actually kill myself as well. Perhaps I... if we all, um, all three of us, um, we make some noise get that single uh, are there one or two guards outside there's uh two guards outside two guards. we get the guards in and then we all kind of clamber on them if one of them gets close i have a shot at making sure that he can't say nothing for a little while that works and it's a long one uh, perhaps um, uh, Bukdel and Farron and myself can then take the other guard. Anything How to get them down on the ground and then get the keys so we can unlock ourselves and get out of here so I can get my magic going. How about we... We don't go for death, because that's a bit too much, but we go for faking an illness and get the guards to come in that way. That way we don't make too much noise because if we make too much noise we'll get lots of them and we don't want that. We just want the two of them. So we just shout oi or something and so and so is not feeling well and yeah. Well, I know a lot about diseases too. I can tell you how to look like you have a disease as long as you don't smack your head on the wall this time. Yes, perhaps. That um, would be a better situation, I. Yes. Uh, Dungeon Master, is there outside of the cell, what does it look like where the guards are? Is it empty or is there a table? Uh, tell you what, from where you can look, you can probably see like almost like the top of the pit. Yeah. Because it's like a small platform, then there's the stone ledge bridge to your right, and then the wooden bridge in front of you, but you guys can't quite see those structures. Yeah. And then you can sort of see a bit of torchlight coming in. Um, is there any... Is there anything which could be fashioned into a makeshift instrument, or would my voice suffice? Um, what instruments are you proficient in? Should be on your character sheet. It is. Um, a voice, guitar, violin, brass, pianos. Is my voice... Could I emanate magic from my voice? Um, yeah, I would say that the more simple spells, like especially vicious mockery and stuff like that, you could definitely use it. So, um, not I'll necessarily. Say that, parts, I'll say that you can use any of your cantrips just using your voice. Okay. Um, would I be able to use healing word? Yes. So, any cantrips and any just verbal spells, like healing word. Uh, disguise self. Excuse me? Disguise self. No. You probably need no. to that. Um, Dissonant Whispers I can use. Yes. Um, suggestion. Yes. Thank you. Um, glyph of Warding. That technically counts as vocal, but I don't know. No, seen... that, that's a more complicated spell. Yeah, a major image as well. And I'm guessing I can't do Thunder Wave either. Yeah, not Thunderwave either. You know, we'll, we'll figure these out on a more case by case basis after you're out of the yeah. cell. Oh yeah. Okay. So, is, is that is that a plan? Is it uh, is it just me whose Tim's audio has I cannot hear either? Um, try lifting the microphone on your earplugs, your earphones, if you just plug them in towards you and speaking into that. That's even worse. Um, <laughs> um, into your settings in the bottom right. Bottom right, 
options, settings, and then you can change your audio input. Because you still get heat the output, change the input. While this is happening, I'm going to go to the loo. Elias is going to start throwing rocks at the bars for fun. <laughs> yeah, let's take a break real quick. So, hello, hello, hello. hello. <laughs> yeah. Question. Uh, given my pre, yes. Given my previous history role, how much would I know? How much would I know about the drow's use of spiders? Are they completely tamed, or is it more like they just happen to be there and are useful? Um, I'll say that you know that drows have been known to work with spiders, but you don't know in what capacity they're using these particular spiders. Like to them, it might be like. You know, just like, oh, hey, here's some wild, wild spiders. Let's feed the prisoners to them. Okay. So I'll propose a possible plan then. Oh, I've just had another thought, actually. Um, I invite you to go first, Lovey. Um, what if if we manage to get? Um, are spiders afraid of fire? Um. You, I don't think you would necessarily be able to know that about these spiders. I mean, you presume that okay. they're reasonably abrasive to being harmed by fire. Yeah, okay. Um, yeah, my I another possible idea, if we can't get them out by um, enticing them, we could throw one of the torches in, set their home on fire, then they'd come out. Uh, make an animal handling or nature check real quick. Okay. Well, I'll make a nature one. Uh, that is 14. Okay. Um. Um, can I assist with my intelligence on that as well? Aid. Can I aid Tim? Yeah, oh. if you want, you can say that you're um, giving him advantage on the roll for the health action. Yeah. Yeah, so we're kind of discussing together and giving you advantage on that roll if you need to re-roll, Tim. Uh, for the roll you just made, you can re-roll it. Cool, I'll re-roll. Yes, okay. That's, uh, that's 25. Okay, so... Um, once, so you know that actually spider webs, they aren't flammable. It's more of they melt with enough heat. Okay. Um, but it would get it would get the spiders to um also real quick, their home. Also, real quick to the listeners at home, if that's not scientifically accurate, go ahead and let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't think it based off a quick Google search. I don't think that they're flammable, but I, I it's possible I'm wrong. I'm entirely sure they're not. Wait, let me just think. Because in video games, they usually are, but based off the yeah. science that I just checked, I don't think so. No, I don't think they would be. Okay. Um, if you use no. the cotton wool theory, um, that you can burn steel wool, and steel wool will still go up in flames for some reason. Um, but because the spider webs are going to be stick, aren't they? Um, so... Uh, because they're so thick and so heavy that perhaps not anyway. Yeah, and either way, based on your contact with them, you don't know if throwing one torch down into a pit is necessarily going to set it on fire. <laughs> but do um, I know whether it would make the spiders evacuate their home? If you were able to hit one spider with it, it might get it to climb out. But there's I'm no telling you to do that. Don't attack the spider. Just ignore the spiders. So I was planning to I, throw the torch in there, then evacuate, attack everything nearby, and us escape in the confusion. But <laughs> mm -hmm. I have a suggestion. Yes. So, DM. Yes. With my, I'm going to keep using this because it's my, with my medical knowledge. Would I think that we'd be able to benefit from a long rest in this jail cell? Yeah. Yeah, you do think that a long rest would be helpful. Like that does heal people. In addition, is, I can sing a song of rest as well. Here's my suggestion. Yes. We tried the slashy, stabby, punchy, wunchy. 
all of us died, by the way. Uh, everyone else listening, this is a dream. In our dream, this happened. Uh, how about this? Tomorrow morning, we're going to be brought out of this cage. We will. And if this cage, if outside of this cage, you get your magic back, we have a far better chance. Aye. Hmm. You raise a good point. In addition, um, did one of the guards not mention we were going to be brought to a priestess? She was going to arrive in an hour. Aye. If my memory is failing me, someone, please let me know. But I thought there is perhaps the, uh, the, the, the intention that we were going to be brought to some priestess, at least so she could see us. Either way, we're going to be out of the cell, or the door will at least be open. Well, so, yes. I'm thinking we should um, just wait. If I can get out the cell, there's a possibility that I could sneakily suggest to the priest that she should she should let us go. Hmm. Hi. I will quickly look over telepathically still at the others. What do y'all all of y'all think of this plan? Do you agree, Mr. Magic Man Drow? You're going to try to convince the priestess to let the three of you humans go after she specifically chose two of you to send a message to no. The castle. I magic. just meant the get out in working day and yeah. trying to escape yeah. then, but yeah. <sighs> speaking of which, speaking of this priestess, uh, Mr. Drow, uh, I, uh, what should I say, uh, Sereth, how much do you know about this priestess? Comes with magic? Or just a figurehead. Uh, let's see now. Ilvara. Yeah, she's a powerful priestess of. She does have quite a few spellcasting capabilities. Seen her take down several enemy soldiers at once. Okay. If that's the case. I don't know how much of a spellcaster you are, Jake, but from my experience with priests, they are very resistant to the arcane. Get me outside the cell and I'll use it on one of the guards then. I think our best bet, get out the cell, got two people with magic, I, I have a fist. I have a fist, and I'm not really that familiar with priests, but if they're not resistant to the arcane, they're probably going to be resistant to physical damage. I just mean priests, pretty wise people, can usually spot out tomfoolery, say. Depends how fast I'm charging at them. <laughs> so True that. To reiterate, are we waiting until tomorrow morning unless a priestess comes to say hello in the meantime? Aye. Mm. Right then. I will close my eyes. I have some okay, things. I will bid you all good night. I'm not even sure what time of day it is down here. Yeah. I, I can make uh, a song of rest as well. Um, will they let you sing? We are doing a short rest. I mean, I can hum it. I'm sure I can hum it. I'm sure humming is allowed. I meant a long rest if it's the morning. But it is a long yeah. rest if I'm in anyway. If you're going to start humming in any like extended and rhythmic fashion, that's going to ins it's going to incur the wrath of the guards. Hey, stop mm -hmm. humming. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. They turn to you and bar, bar their spears. Nice spear. Did your mum make it for you? Mm. Do we need to come in there? You can do what you like. 
I close my eyes. No, we're going to sleep. You just continue guarding us and all that. You... Yeah, yeah. Well, I will, uh, Ilya will meditate on what has happened and go to sleep. Yes. So, sometime later, the guards are back in the cell and they're sort of poking with you with the dull end of their spears. Hey, wake up. Well. Mm -hmm. What's no, just your presence in, at the shrine. Mm -hmm. uh, we, 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 I get up. Not expectantly. Wait, Does this include me or is exclude? Yes, the three of you. Kind of lift my hands up like, can I get up? Yes, yes, the, all, the three of you rise. I kind of take my gag out just for a moment saying, can I remove my gag yet? And he smacks you in the face. Not enough to do damage, but... When taken. Unless you want to lose that tongue, I suggest you keep the gag in. Hmm. Are we heading off now? Or are we going to stand here dilly dallying all day, looking and at so your shoes? And one of them up the back of your chains, which you realize they took the opportunity while you were asleep to unhook them from the wall and hook them together. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. So nice. one of them going before, one of them going in front, and the other ones going behind. If you guys want to try anything here, just let me know. No, we need to get out of the cell. Yeah. Yep. And so they begin to march you forward out of the cell, out into the platform. They point into the spider pit and say, You caused too much trouble. We'll just throw you in there. Um, Understood. Understood. My energy is coming back. Uh, if you guys yeah, if you guys want, we can say that there was enough time for a short rest. Yeah. Makes so no change to me, but... While you're walking. What was that? Sorry? So yeah, if you guys want, you can roll some hit dice while you're walking. Roll some hit dice. I will say to uh, Farron in Draconic, because I remember that you speak Draconic. I will say, do you think they can understand Draconic? <laughs> I bloody hope not. Look at them. Do they understand Draconic? Code, they say. That's not a code, that's a legitimate language. Now you're just being mean. You're lucky I'm not a dragon ball. If I wanted to sneakily cast a spell, would I be able to? Yes. What do you want to try to cast? Is there a leader of sorts? Um, neither of these two guards seem to be deferring to the other. They're only the two guards. Yeah, there's just two guards at the moment, and they're starting to walk you guys across the wooden bridge, not the stone one. The wooden bridge. And you, uh, now that you're getting a bit of a closer look, you realize that across the wooden bridge, there seems to go up to, I guess an island is the best term, in the middle of the pit, and there's a tower there. Yeah. So, would I be able to cast a spell of suggestion on the guy in front of me. Uh, the guy at the top. The, the front. Um. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. Uh, they must make a wisdom saving throw. Yes. Um, what does my... Does their wisdom depend on my wisdom, or... Let's see now. That is going. They have to roll plus their wisdom, and it's contested by eight plus your charisma modifier plus your proficiency bonus. So eight plus eight, sixteen. Yes. Oh, yeah. yeah, he fails. Okay. In that case, I'm just very quickly whipping the gag out. I say to him, "You must throw your friend into the spider pit." <laughs> Uh, 
suggestion must be worded in such a manner to make the course of action sound reasonable. As he is secretly plotting to help us escape. Give me a second. Uh, <laughs> oh my. This is never a good sign. No, so no, this we... laughter is in your favor. I'm just oh, laughing. Okay. I don't have a. I'm laughing because I don't have a legitimate mechanical reason to object to him doing this. <laughs> <laughs> And then he turns to him. Okay, he turns to the guy in the back and says, I knew it. I knew you had betrayed Ilvara. Ilvara, that's the person, eh? So now he's going to rush over, and I guess they're going to try to grapple each other to throw each other into the pit. Do they let go of our chains, or are they still holding on? Yeah, With yeah my- I guess. So the guy in the back was the one holding the chains. So he's trying to like try to fight his friend off. Okay. Uh, we okay. Got two guys I... Jake, should the black one be the guard that's on your side, or the red one be the guard that's on your side? We love me these colors. Um, red one. Lol. For red, well, it's red is the blood of angry men. Okay. Which one do you want to be on your side? Red. Okay. Ah, uh, I'm sorry. Red got so, a two, black got a nine. These so both have the same tap block, so. So, does the red guy get thrown in the pit anyway, or, or what, what happens? Uh, not exactly. So, red is going to rush over and try to start pushing his um, former friend. He fights back and then shouts, Gods, help! Jake Actor did his bard magic. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I'll shout. No, he didn't. And out from the tower rushes um, two guards with crossbows. Um, can I quickly cast a Scully self? No, that that I'm still in chains. That's pointless. Um, I guess distant whispers. Uh, I, I turn to the others and say, "Can you try and throw those two off the bridge behind us? I'll take okay. care of the guys with crossbows." Make some initiative rolls. Make some initiative rolls. That guard is going to be on your side for as long as it takes to push the other man off the pit. Yeah. 16. Five. Oh my god. That's one six. I'm on six. Five. Okay. So I've got a six. Did you get a 16. seven? Oh, I'm I'm just flat five. Oh, okay. Wait, so Farron and uh, Ilya got fives? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Ilya can go first because she has the higher decks. Let me get up my super special anti ring. Just kidding. Well, the bad news is is that uh, most of the guards are going to go before you. <laughs> so yeah, the two with um, crossbows, it's more like they come to the quote-unquote window of their guard tower. They're at the bottom of it, just sort of keeping watch. And so yeah, so from inside the um, building, they're going to fire at you. Um, okay, I'm going to say that... Um, Based on the way you guys were chained up, Jake was probably in the back. So, and then Ilya would be in the front. Mm. Okay, um, what was your armor class again? Me or Jake? Um, you. 17. Okay, one of them hits. Four. Eight damage. Ooh. I will use my reaction to deflect missiles. Nice. And I believe that does it automatically because it's a plus nine, so it reduces the damage to zero. Wait, wait, wait. Read the effect of it. Um, 
You can use your reaction to deflect or catch missiles when you're hit. Da, da, da. When you do so, the damage taken from the attack is reduced by 1d10 plus 9. One if you seven. reduce the damage to zero, you have a free hand you can spend a key point to make a ranged attack. Uh, I'm sorry, I need to double check this because I'm familiar with this ability, but um but um Oh, yep, plus Dexamod and Monk level. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, no matter what, yeah, you're able to catch it. And now, do you want to throw it back? I will not. I'm going to save my key points. I'll just wave. I'll wave the arrow at them. I love that. Okay. This is the fun. Okay, so one of them goes over your head. The other one's about to hit you in the um, throat, but you just grab it like a moment before it can. You were saying? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay, um, now it's Jake's turn. Um, all right, got the guys behind me. Well, they're going to keep doing their thing. They're engaged. So I'm going to kind of yeah. grab power and shoulders, lean past, point at someone, and dissonant whisper the fuck out of them. Um, okay, do I you want to get the one that missed Ilya or the one that almost hit Ilya? The one that missed, so the one that okay. almost hit Ilya can bear with the shame <laughs> of what's happened in the arrow court. Go for it. Um, is this a saving throw or an attack crawl? Wisdom saving throw, so it's 8 plus 8, right? Plus 16 yeah. save. And then 3d6 uh, harm. He failed. He failed. So it's 3d6. 2. Usually good. 3. That's 5. And a 5. That's 10. Oh, that's alright. 10 10 damage. Yeah. Um, that's not plus anything, it's just 10 flat, isn't it? Yes. You normally can't add anything to um, cantrips, but there's a special feat for that. Oh, this is a spell. Wait. Oh, this is the first level spell? This is the first well, anyway, level spell. It would stipu anyway, it would stipulate if you could add something to it. Okay. It would based on the spell description. So 10, yeah, that's a good hit. Oh, what do you say to him, by the way? What was that? Sorry? Oh, so what do you say to him? This just make a mockery is like a psychically powered insult, so... Uh, dissonant whispers. So he uh, uh, hears me in um, kind of three different languages. You gave me right. this spell. Right, right, right. There's three very similar spells. There's cutting words, vicious mockery, and then dissonant whispers. Yes. Whisper a discordant melody that um, reckon it with terrible pain. So yeah, it has to run away from you now, right? Um, if available to move to speed, yeah, it has to run away, actually. Okay, he runs away. I will actually copy and paste that in. Um, smart spell. Okay, Jake, <laughs> so... Let's see, as soon as I get into spells, I'm useful, aren't I? Yeah. Now your guard. Now the guard that's not on your side is going to try to um, push back the one that is, <laughs> and manages to sort of shove them back a little bit. Not enough to push them over the edge, but now the other guy's going to run back and try to shove them again. And this time it's just sort of a lateral move, like they're just sort of grappling against each other, trying to push one another. That's going to bring us to Ilya. I will spin the arrow in my fingers and hand it off to uh, Farron and say, here's a weapon. Okay, um, I, I don't know how much damage it will do, but there's something. Um, yeah. Then I will say, are we moving? And I will start moving. Hi. <laughs> yeah. If, do you guys want to go into the um, pretty much guardhouse where the one remaining guard is? Because we could get tools there. Yeah. I think so, we yeah. We're all chained together, aren't we? Yes, yes, they're all chained together. No, we're at the moment. I'm not allowed to give further instructions to the guard, am I? No, it's one suggestion per oh, cast. But remember, just, he's going to be cast. He's going to keep I it just, up. 
Am I allowed to grab the keys off the belt? Or is that out of initiative? Or um, Tell you what, on your turn, you can... Yeah, because that's not directly harmful to him. So if you want, you can make like a, um, a slight of hand check with advantage since he's so distracted. Ilya. Ilya. Make the keys. Let's get out of here. I say, oh yeah, keys. Right. Whack. Yeah, um, make a quick slide of hand check. Uh, is that with advantage or not? Yes, with advantage. Advantage. Ooh. advantage. Can you get like double advantage if I aid? <laughs> no, unfortunately not. One. I start singing. Can you add my charisma? I don't know. Well, if you want, well, no, that'd be a little out of initiative. Yeah, for like, um, I rolled an eleven and an eighteen. Yeah, that's fine. You're able to get the keys, but he, yeah. So and now you guys have a choice. Do you guys want to go free the rest of the prisoners, or do you want to keep trying to explore the underdark? Uh, I think if if this is our off and we're just having a discussion, here's my opinion. We get the chains off, go in the guardhouse, get some tools, and then we decide if it's safe enough to go back and get the rest. And so yeah, the guardhouse might have our kit there. Yeah, okay. I agree. I agree with this. I need my armor back. Okay, yeah, so, that's fine. If you guys want, you can run into the guardhouse. Can I unlock the chains yet, or was it just everything with? Yeah, if you guys want, like you can say as you're moving, you sort of unlock the chains. But remember, yeah. there's still one more guard in the guardhouse. You still have to deal yeah. with him. Mm. I understand. <coughs> me to be what fair, did Ilya, I'll just... What did Ilya give me, by the way, as a weapon? I forgot. Um, an arrow, which will do a D4 oh. of damage, but it has a high chance of breaking when you stab someone with it, <laughs> because it's just not what they were designed for. I might take the chain and use it as a weapon. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's fine. So, yeah, um, Ilya, if you want, we can say that for your turn, you're able to um, reach into the in a guard's pocket, get the key, and then I guess just detach yourself from this chain. Okay. And then uh, the rest, Then you guys want to try to rush inside the guardhouse? So are we all unchained now, or is it just Ilya? Uh, just Iliad. So the other two of you are dragging this train along. Here's my question. Now that we have nope. the keys, what? should we push them both in the hole? Well, if you guys attack the guard that's quote-unquote on your side, that will break the spell. But we could attack the other guards and then attack him. And because um, we could advantage one another on the roll because we got two strong guys there and I can keep people off you with my spells. Uh, here's my counter suggestion. I am not strong. I am very weak. I'm very fast. And I can catch arrows. So here's my suggestion. I go into the guard tower. I deal with the archer, since yeah. he can do next to nothing to me. You two deal with the guards. Got you. I say that's smart. Worst comes to the worst, I'll Eldritch Blast them the fuck up. Eldritch Blast. Is that okay, so? that's oh. my plan. That's what Ilya does. She runs off. Okay, so that's going to bring us to... I leave some with the keys. Yeah, that's going to bring us to Farron. What do you want to do? Uh, have I got the keys from Ilya? Yeah. I unlock myself from the chain. Yes. That, that counts as an action, doesn't it? Um, Just unlocking yourself, that can probably just be like a thing you do real quick. The real issue okay. is if you were to start trying to unchain everyone else. All right, yeah. Um, I hand the keys to Jake. Is that an action? No, that's fine. You can just hand it off real quick. Okay. Um, I guess I use the arrow to try and stab the guard who isn't on our side. So okay. I'm helping the other guard. And whilst I'm doing it, I'm shouting, You traitor! <laughs> <laughs> you traitor, you're helping us. <laughs> uh, uh, that's 13. Uh, 13 total is a mess. Yeah. Oh, well, I'm adding oh, wait, to wait. the... Yeah, rib. yeah, 13 mess, sorry. Okay. But you do get two attacks, so... Yeah. Oh! I go again. Oh, bugger. Um, 21. 
Oh yeah, twenty one's a hit. Uh, roll a D four plus strength. D four plus strength. Oh, that's six. Okay, good. That's a, that's a good hit. Okay, so that's going to bring us back up to the top of the order. Oh wait, no. Now now the guards are going to go. Yeah, no. Um, the guard that you just stabbed is able to hold his ground, doesn't get shoved in. Now that's going to bring us to the guard in the a room that sees Ilya running towards him. Is going to try to fire at her. Okay, the red die is not does not have good luck today. <laughs> Again, you need to put it in dice jail, Laura Bailey. <laughs> okay, uh, now it is. Jake's turn. Jake's turn, yeah. Um, okay. Why not? I start humming the tune as I start warming, kind of crackling Eldritch Elegy around my fingers as I... No, actually, can I um, unclick myself first? With the keys? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, you can go ahead and unlock yourself. Unlock myself keys in my pocket, then start crackling energy as I start humming the tune to a toss a coin to your warrior, a tavern of plenty going around. And then I suddenly burst out in a verse and attack Black Die Man, who we don't like, uh, with uh, two beams of Eldritch Blasts. Okay. I'm going to say that since you don't have your instruments back on you yet, you're going to have disadvantage on these attack rolls. Yeah. That is all right. Mm-hmm. Um, well, that's natural 20. Uh, that's a 15. Okay, that hits. Um, so that's one beam which hits. Yep. And now for the second beam. Uh, 17. Please be good. Two plus eight to so 10 doesn't hit. Yeah, just one um, hit. Just one hit, so that's a 1d10. Which one's a D10? There it is. No. Yes. No. No. Yes. Yes. That's a D10. Goodness me. Um, one D10 force damage. Okay. Roll it. Uh, seven. Seven. Sorry. Okay. Now, Ilya, your turn. Um. So, question. I didn't use my action last turn. Correct. Um, you sort of used your action to unlock everyone and formulate a quick strategy. Okay, um, so it's just forty feet of movement. Then does that take me to them yet? Yeah, you can. Yeah, so you rush into this guard tower, and you realize that. Um, so when you walk in, you notice that it seems to be a um, about a medium-sized room. There's one guard standing at the window holding a crossbow. You also notice that there's a ladder that seems to go upwards. Okay. And then there's also a table in the middle where there seems to be an abandoned card game. And then another door opposite of where you came in that's hanging open. Okay. And I can't see anything through that door yet. Uh, seems to continue on to another... Seems to continue on to another bridge. Uh, Ilya... Actually, that... Yeah. Ilya will look at this guard and then just chuckle and then rush in. Um... And is going to do two attacks. Pew pew. Yep, go ahead. Um, she's going to bring her leg up and a slam down kick. Because she's feeling a bit confident. Uh, that's 20. Not that natural. Hits. Roll damage. That's seven damage. Okay. And then it's going to roundhouse to the face. Mm -hmm. Kapow! Another non-natural 20. Roll damage. Ooh, yeah, 10 damage. <laughs> uh, and then I can attack once again for my bonus action for free, I believe. But that's without the extra four. <laughs> 19. Yep, that hits. 5 damage. Okay. 
<laughs> so yeah, you just rush in here and start beating this guy up. <laughs> mercy. <laughs> it's a mercy, mercy killing. Now it's Ferenc's turn. Right. Um, when we kill this uh, black dice dude guard, um, will the spell be broken on the red dice guard? I'm assuming oh, so. It, it will, won't it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Right, I have to be prepared for that. Um, I go, yeah, attack black dice guard again. Okay. With the arrow. Natural 20. Um, okay. Yeah, that's 26. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, roll your... So that's going to be 2d4 plus your strength modifier. 2d4. Nine. Ooh, that's a good hit. And... Okay. But yeah, this guy's in really bad shape. But he is able to stand his ground. He doesn't get shoved over the edge. He's really good at his job. Wait, don't I get two attacks? Oh, yes, you do. Go ahead and roll again. He's not over. It's not over yet. Natural one. Never mind. Never mind. Doesn't yeah. matter. Doesn't matter. Okay, it's now that you're bringing us to the guard in the guardhouse, he's going to pretty much uh, drop his crossbow and just try to stab you with one of the bolts. Okay. Yeah, I'm guessing that a um, that a nine doesn't beat your armor class. It does not. Yeah, that's what I figured. Can I? For f I know it's not a projectile, but can I for fun grab <laughs> grab the arrow? <laughs> um, no, he still has no hand, but he misses you. Yeah. Okay. Now that's going to bring us to Jake. Um, yeah, I'm going to do a Vicious Mockery cantrip, which is a 2d4 psychic damage if succeeds um, on the guy, the, the black uh, d20 guy who we're just continually attacking. Um, okay. Because that's a cantrip, a uh, verbal cantrip, so I don't use any of my spell slots, but it does give him disadvantage if he uh, fails the wisdom on the next yeah. turn, I think. Okay, and that's a saving throw, right? Um, a wisdom saving throw, and that's a 16 to beat. Well, then he failed. How much damage does he take? Um, that's what? Two, oh, fuck. 2d4. Two, uh, two and uh, three. So that's five damage and disadvantage on next turn. Okay, what do you say to him? Yeah, and it's kind of, it appears... Uh, in his ear, and it says, You traitor. Okay, this is how I'm going to play this, though. He starts to freak out, thinks, Oh no, what have I done? I've disgraced myself. Very well, then. I shall... <laughs> I shall die for the name of my guild no, no, no. in order to reclaim my honor. And he takes sure his own spear and stabs himself with it. <laughs> Just to clarify, that cantrip is what killed him. This is just how we're flavoring it. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's even better. Oh my god. That's, that's hilarious. Uh, and then he shakes his friend loose and he sees what just happened and says, oh, that's a shame. Now about the three of you. <laughs> there were two of us here. One of us was fucking up. And then he looks around <laughs> Wait, where'd she go? Okay, um... It says Ilya up in the tower having a rave. Ilya's turn. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, very quickly, because I haven't used any of my Bardic Inspiration yet, have I? Nope. Um, in addition, I can do more than that. I can use Mantle of Inspiration. Let me just have oh. a look. Yeah, tell you what, do you want to say... Do you want to say that, like, you use that to kind of inspire Ilya to also fill in, finish off the other guy? Because he's in bad shape. <laughs> um, 
can I see Ilya through the window? Yeah, it, it, it's a it's a very open window design. It allows the guards to look out, but also allows you to look in. Um, no, so I'm not going to do Mountain of Inspiration at the moment. Um, I'm just going to do Classic Bardic Inspiration um, on Ilya, uh, just to give you the extra uh, bonus on that so you can proper bash him in. Okay, um, thank you. I'm going to kind of shout uh, a line of poetry Boom, pitter patter, pitter patter, and crack with a smack. The dismembered calf slaps the ground and makes the bath. And and, and trail off as, as as you go into your rage, probably. Okay. Uh, so that's my bardics. Ilya's turn. I I hear what Jake said. Go. Huh. That was fun, wasn't it? To the guard. And then I'm just going to backhand him. Okay. Uh, make the attack roll. Natural twenty. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. Just answer me one question. Do you want to knock him off the edge into the spider pit? Oh, definitely. Okay. This is how this looks. So <laughs> you basically just Okay, so this guy's currently facing you because he tried to stab you. You just push him with his head, he topples out of the window, falls down into the pit. <laughs> He had so little health that you're mi- that no matter what you rolled, you would have killed him. I just sort of look at it and go, "Well, that that's just how the cookie crumbles." Yeah, you just feel your key flow through you as you just send a shockwave through this guy's body, knocking him down. <laughs> okay, I okay. have I have other attacks, so I'm just gonna punch the air, encouraging myself. Um, well, you and do then, have 40 feet of movement, so do you want to run back feet and start punching the other guy? I was going to see... I was going to go up the ladder. Okay, yeah, you want to... Yeah, you have enough movement speed to dart up the ladder. Because I want to see if there's any incoming dangers. So what you see on the second floor is a storeroom. Yes. Let's... Now it's Farron's turn. Um, so, dude in the guardhouse died, but oh, uh, what, what about red and black guys? One second. Black guys. guys. Uh, Say that again. What, what, what's happened to red and black dice guy? Okay, so his friend just speared himself after getting cantripped, yeah. and that basically made him just um, switch his attention from his guard yeah. friend to you guys, just like, okay, now that he's dealt with. Right, I'll attack this other guy. Twice. Okay. With... Wait, did the arrow break when I attacked it? Uh, no, it isn't broken yet. Okay. You've been doing... Uh, you've been doing uh, like also, um, if you want, you can always just try to shove this guy off the edge. I mean, I just rolled uh, 20, not a natural 20, but it's 20. Tackle? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Uh, roll damage. Is that just one D4, right? Yeah. Yeah, six. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, so a six, and the arrow does snap this time. Okay. But you do have one more attack. What do you want to do with it? I'm going to use the chain to attack him. I'm going to beat him with the chain. <laughs> beat him with the chain, that works. Oh, actually, can I wrap the chain around my wrist and then have an advantage to punching or something? Um, tell you what, if you want, you can wrap up the chain, and then you'll be able to do a D4 bludgeoning damage when you punch him. Normally, yeah, a normally an unarmed strike is a one damage for non monks. Right. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> or you uh, can yeah, I'll, I'll do that then. An improvised weapon. I'll make it into a a, a bludgeon, basically. Yeah. A um. Oh, what's yeah. Brass knuckles. Brass knuckles. Yeah. Knuckle yep. dust. Uh, Twenty-one. <laughs> that hits. Roll damage. This is going to be another D four, but this isn't going to wear out as easily. Uh, that's six. Okay, good hit. Now he's going to go, and he's going to try to stab you. Yeah, so you get him in the gut. He doubles over and says, "Good hit. What do you think of this?" <sighs> He missed. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
What do you think of this? Absolutely crap. Okay, uh, top of the order. That's going to bring us back to Jake. Uh, I love the way I'm the top of the order now, even though I only rolled a six. Um... <laughs> Because of just the way it works out with spells and stuff. and um, Right, so I've got this guy in front of me. Let's see what I can do. Yep. Um, if I mock him, that's 2d4. But what if I do a level 3 Dissonant Whispers? Now, I should save level 3 Dissonant Whispers, shouldn't mm. I? Um, save that shit. And and instead, what I will do is I'll, I'll just mock him. I'll kind of stand there, take a step back if I can. Um, I'll mock him and say, "You're low flying, <laughs> thou swine." Okay, um, you the thou swine. I really appreciate it. Uh, so that's sixteen to beat. Yeah, he fails his wisdom save. Right, disadvantage on that attack roll. And, and one adds uh, two. So three, not particularly uh, effective, but, you know, he's, he's, he's so worried about his penis flopping around, he's not going to uh, attack me or myself with power and very well, hopefully. This is when he gets two natural 20s. Okay, Elias' turn. Okay. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'll also use... No, I won't. Yeah. I'm all right. I'm not going to do anything. So, Ilya, uh, you're in the storeroom. Yes. Uh, give me one moment. A moment has passed. Or has it? Because a moment is a variety of times. Well, indeed. We love you, Ben's mum. <laughs> okay. So there's a variety. So there's several suits of armor and several weapons and shields hanging up. And then there's also a lot of chests strewn around the room. Question oh, is my quarter oh, staff yeah. there. Uh let's see now. There's actually a chest in the corner of the room labeled contraband. Okay. I will think about my quarter staff for a second and go, nah, I'm alright. Slide down the ladder. Um and run up to the window. I have an idea. Is that with 40 feet of movement, is that enough? Um it's enough to get at least to the window. Okay, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna hope at least, that there's an arrow lying from the crossbow person. Is there? Yeah, yeah if you want, we can say that he dropped his crossbow when he fell, but the rest of his um, gear fell. And would I have a higher chance of hitting if I threw the arrow with my hand or if I used the crossbow? Uh, the crossbow fell with him. Okay, so I'll just... I'm going to try and throw the arrow at this guy. <laughs> just just straight throwing it like a dart? Yeah. Oh, because I'm proficient with darts. <laughs> okay, make an attack roll. <laughs> Fucking monks. Natural one. Oh. Is there any other arrows? <laughs> Uh, no. Probably just the one that he took out to try to stab you with. The rest of his gear fell with him. I sort of watched it fly up and go... It was almost cool. <laughs> and, uh, I'll just sort of uh, watch out the window. I'll keep an eye out for any more guards. Okay. Um, now that's going to bring us to Farron. Um, right. Chain time. Bludgeoning time. Yeah. Uh, that is 16. That hits. That is 4. Okay. And another attack. Yep. That is 18. That hits. And that is 6. Do you want to push him off the ledge? Or yes. do you just want to kill this guy regularly? Remember, yeah, if you knock him off the ledge, you lose anything that you could loot from him. But it does look a lot cooler. <laughs> I want to loot. I want to loot. Okay. Ever the practical man. Is he dead? 
So yeah, Farron just starts beating this guy with his uh, chained up hand and just... <laughs> it actually takes you a minute to realize that he's dead while you're beating on him. <laughs> Classic. <clears throat> that is so barbaric. It's It's beautiful. So now he's dead. What do you want to do? Is that the end or uh, combat or the enemies have gone for the moment? Yeah. So this uh, battle is pretty much over. You scared one guard off and killed the other three. Yeah. Nice. Can I move? Yes. Um, So if you're going to take his gear, he's wearing armor, but it's not the right size for you and you don't really wear armor anyway. um, Wait, we're collecting our gear, aren't we? At some point. Eventually, hopefully. Uh, I'll shout down and say, there's quite a lot of stuff in here. I'm going to write this in a separate... No, I, I, think... I hear what Ilya has to say. Um, I give a thumbs up, and then I go jogging towards the cell to try and uh, free the rest of the prisoners. Also, okay, so if Farron, you're going to get what's on him, then that's going to be three gold coins. Hang on, hang on. Uh, yeah, go for it. Three gold coins. A hand crossbow. Oh, yeah. I mean, I've already got one, but cool. Yeah. Ten crossbow bolts. <laughs> yeah. And a spear. Well, wow, that's a pretty good haul. Yep. Um, cool. Okay. And, um... Is does Ilya want to go up to the treasure room, quote unquote? Um, have I before I do? Have I noticed anything, like any guards, any movement, any sounds? You haven't heard anything yet, but you do know that one of the guards ran off. You didn't kill him, so he. Do I be... see? Do I see any tracks? Any sign of which direction? I mean, there's only one other way he could have gone, but you don't know where he went from there. I'm just going to close that door. Okay. And put something in front of it to block it. <laughs> You're going to drag the guy's body and put it in front of there? <laughs> oh, that that would be fun. Uh, I'm going to weekend at Bernie's, the guy, and be like, oh, they went that way. <laughs> okay. With my minus one to charisma. Yeah. And Jake, you're going to go unlock the other prisoners? Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah. So. Um, uh, I'm not this down as I go and lock them um i give a brief explanation saying we've killed a bunch of guards but you need to stay close we can protect you and there is uh, a guard tower where we might be able to stock up okay so do you guys want to go back to the guard tower then yeah i lead prisoners towards the guard tower kind of picking up Farron along the way, yeah. kind of pushing him gently as 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 I do, because sometimes he's a bit thick in the skull. And he's, a bit, and he's a bit of a push, right? He just yeah. sometimes stands there over dead bodies, kind of going... Or, uh, or, or alternatively, I'm still bashing the, the, uh, yeah. the dead guy. <laughs> well, remember, Ilya collected the dead guy, I think, to use as oh. a uh, sandbag. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Using as much as I can. <laughs> I'm going to keep right? this chain. This chain is high, Rhea. Use it for sandbags. Um, I will turn around to the others and say, second time's the charm, apparently. Quite right. You know what they say, third time lucky, but perhaps for us it's second time, or perhaps some god is now going to strike us down. Yeah. I want to see what's upstairs. Okay. Oh, so you guys going upstairs by the way this point it's been about five minutes since you've woken up but you don't know how long you slept for hmm. um we would have slept for about an hour right because they said it should be should be wanting us in an hour and they picked us up well maybe they, woke you up, maybe they woke you up early to make sure that you were in time maybe maybe indeed um yeah. climbing up the ladder uh there's a box of contraband uh, do we need yeah, to roll perception to look around, or...? Yeah, there's a variety of boxes. Um, immediately hanging up, you do notice six chain shirts, six suits of studded armor, six shields, and then six hand crossbows, and then various supplies in various boxes. Is, um, studded armor light armor? I do not believe so. Studded leather. 
but I am going to check for you. Oh, oh yes, yes. Yeah, um, could I make one of those on? Sure. Uh, what does that give me? Give me a sec. That's going to be uh, 12 plus your dex modifier for your armor class. That's a 13, that's fine. Yep. Uh, you said there was a contraband. Yes. You gonna open that up? If I open it up? So, inside of there is going to be all of your non-magical equipment. That includes your instruments, Jake. Yeah. So, um, uh, Farron, the Sword of the Frostman's Hunt is not in there. And Jake, the Sword of the Smiley Face is not in there. But I do have my rucksack, say, where I can attach my instruments and stuff. And Yes, yes. You guys are able to reclaim the rest of your equipment. Um, and Jake, didn't you say you wanted to go around 11? Go around 11? Yeah, you said you had a message about that in chat. I yes. need to have another one. I, uh, we got a lesson tomorrow, and uh, there are some bits that I need to do. So I, uh, we got into a roll, so uh, I wasn't going to uh, stop it, but it would be good if I could head off. Yeah, it's probably a good place to stop then, and we can carry this on, I guess, sometime in a few weeks. This is this will be interesting. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Uh, do you want to try and do weekly or uh, bi-weekly or... Um, I don't even think I could even do bi-weekly, but um, I'll, I'll see how often we can do it with this campaign. It seems to do that we'll be having like fewer sessions, but they'll be longer form. Got you. Yeah. Yeah. And um, by the way, this first this is coming out of the first chapter of the Out of the Abyss module. Would you I guys knew be, it. Would you guys be interested in trying to run the entire module? Sure, I would. That'd okay. Yeah. I can think of that. So yeah, I guess this will be my Out of the Abyss group. <laughs> Hooray! Uh, well, this will be fun. Um, anyway, I'm I've been so your happy. Host I chose character. Abyssal. <laughs> <laughs> yep, good choice. That's why I was saying good choice earlier. Anyway, <laughs> I've been your host and dungeon master Drew, and I'm being joined by Farron Monroe, aka Tim. Jake Actor, aka Jake Davies. You know, I'm very much into it. Good thing. And I assume I'm introducing my character, Ilias Stoll, and I am Ben. Okay, we'll see you guys hopefully soon. Bye. Bye. Goodbye.